Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss uh, the advantages of field bus interface uh, over 4 to 20 mA interface of a process transmitter. Process transmitters are used in industries for measuring various process variables like pressure, temperature, level, flow, pH etc. Nowadays these process transmitters by default are having both these interfaces and the examples for field bus interfaces are foundation field bus, heart, mod bus, profi bus etc. Field bus is basically a digital communication protocol that defines a set of rules for exchanging data between sender and receiver. Here you can see uh, some of the field bus protocols. In addition to this, there are so many other protocols are available in the market and depending upon the application requirement, the type of the field bus need to be selected. For process applications, heart, for foundation field bus, profi bus, mod bus or any other protocol can be selected. For uh, communication between integrated circuits on a printed circuit board, then I2C, SPI or CAN protocol can be selected. For uh, Communication between servo drives and uh, CERCOS uh, protocol can be selected. For automobile application CAN or any other uh, protocol can be selected. These are the advantages of field bus over uh, conventional uh, 4 to 20 mA point to point uh, interface. Field bus devices offers increased data availability, easily configurable and interoperable. So what is interoperable? Uh, the devices from different manufacturers they are compatible with each other. So ease of handling devices, so the field bus uh, supporting network, so it's easy for adding new devices. So it also enhances the maintainability of the system, remote access to the data, predictive maintenance and it also reduces the loading and control room equipment with the distribution of uh, control uh, to the field devices. Suppose if you take foundation field bus, the PID block can be incorporated in uh, field uh, sensors or actuators so by this the load on the uh, control system is reduced here you can see the wiring of a 4 to 20 milliampere network and a field bus network so these are the sensors here you can see these are two sensors and two solenoid walls and these are the motors uh, which need to be controlled uh, through a 4 to 20 milliampere signal as uh, number of sensors increases the number of uh, cables that are going from field to the control room increases and this uh, creates a wiring chaos and um, and it is very difficult uh, to troubleshoot uh, whenever any problem occurs and uh, whereas if you see this uh, network uh, with field bus so only single cable uh, is connected so and uh, the sensors and actuators are connected in uh, multi drop here and here you can see in uh, that is a remote IO here uh, the sensors are connected in uh, star topology and this uh, field bus removes uh, this wiring kiosk as number of wires are reduced whereas if you see in uh, 4 to 20 milliampere network as number of uh, field device increases so uh, it creates this wiring kiosk uh, problem so this is uh, another example for field bus network here the profinet is used so devices are connected in stored topology so all the hmi panels re remote ios drives are connected to this switch so this field bus uh, device uh, decreases the cable cost as we discussed. So here if you see each device of 4 to 20 milliampere. So a separate cable uh, need to be routed to the control room whereas a uh, field bus device. So the devices can be connected in bus or uh, star topology and a single cable goes from the junction box to the control room. So this field bus device uh, can be easily configurable and it also uh, easy to troubleshoot. Here we can by sitting in the control room, uh, the service engineer or maintenance engineer can uh, troubleshoot the problem without uh, going in, uh, to the field. And if you want to change uh, the span of the instrument or if you want to monitor any other uh, parameter of the instrument, so we can uh, remotely monitor all those data. And it is also is adding the new devices if you want to add one more device of, uh, as per the requirement so you can add one more device and the number of devices depends upon the uh, field bus protocol and this uh, field bus devices also uh, supports uh, multi-variable uh, data flow if you take 
this uh, DP transmitter so which measures uh, temperature pressure that is uh, uh, differential pressure and static pressure if you take 4 to 20 milliampere only one variable uh, can be transmitted so that is primary variable if it is a DP transmitter then only DP pressure need to be uh, need DP pressure can be transmitted whereas if you see the field bus uh, data so all the variables can be uh, transmitted at a time and uh, this is uh, applicable to Coriolis flow meter also this Coriolis flow meter uh, uh, measures multiple uh, physical variables like density uh, temperature and then the mass flow rate so all those variables uh, can be transmitted at a time by using the field bus thank you